Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to Frost First News at 5. I'm Brandon Harrington. And I'm Sabrina Roberts. It's Halloween, and we have a lot to cover. Now, I'm not going to lie. I hate Halloween. Everything about it, it's just a bunch of hocus-pocus. Do you really feel that way about Halloween? I mean, yeah, it's just a made-up holiday, and, you know, weird things happen that don't make any sense. Speaking of nonsense, there have been reports of a man with a megaphone prophesizing the downfall of Frostburg. <laughs> Wait, what are, what are you talking about? We've just received some video footage. See for yourself. Come, my children, let us prepare our souls, for the Almighty is here, and he is ready for the cleansing. Heed my words, performers. There is chance for you yet if you tell over to us and give your soul to the Almighty. There may be time yet for you, performers. Come join us. Do not give your souls over to the world. Well, what did we just watch? Well, apparently, the broken window on the second floor is an evil portal. So, we're all gonna die. It's really simple. Mom, if you're watching this, I love you, and I'm sorry for being such a huge disappointment. I don't know if your mom will see this in time to forgive you, but on her behalf, I'll forgive you for being a bad daughter. Oh, wow. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you. In other news, I heard this year there might actually be a student who will finally pass 447. Wait, are you serious? That'd be the first student in, like, over three decades to pass the class. Sometimes I wonder if it's the class that's the problem, the students, or that professor. Yeah, it's too bad I was lying. Just look at this video of the ghosts of 447. It should be against the law to look this bad. Welcome to MCOM 447. Many of you have been here before. Those who have not, get comfortable. As you can see here, it is quite the scene as the mass communication law class begins again for the semester. Among the supernatural reports occurring around campus, it seems not even the comm students are an exception. There are some students here that claim they've been stuck in this class for decades. This reporter decided to find out. I'm here with... Uh, Smitty Johnson, who claims he has been here for 10 years. Any comments? I first started this class in 2008 when I was 21. Surely you must be exaggerating. You don't look much older than 21. That's the issue. I've been 21 for the past 10 years. Doomed to repeat this class over and over. You need to run before it's too late. Run! Moving on, shall we? It looks like somebody spent too much time in Cambridge. Um, I am here with uh, Shannon, who also makes a bold claim that she's been here for longer than our traditional four years. It's true. I have been. I've been here for decades. I know so much about copyright laws. Fair use. Fair use. Right. And uh, just when did you start your class? Back in 1987. Is Reagan still president? I don't know. The tube's been on the fritz. <laughs> This, this is a joke, right? This is a, this is, no? Okay, moving on. I, uh, I am now joined by um, Hugo, Hugo Temple. Uh, Hugo, how long you've been in this class? Since 98? 98? What? No, this is my second time taking this course. I failed because of my attendance last year. Way too many personal days. Wait, so you're not from like a decade ago? No, I'm only 19 anyway. We have to get out of here. Um, one more interview and then we'll bounce, okay? Uh, perfect. Hey kid, what's your name? Brooks, why? Uh, quick, how long have you been in this class? Oh, this is my first semester. I'm excited to learn. We have to get out of here. Where are you going? You can't leave until you pass. Wow, you weren't kidding. That was rough and kind of hard to see. I really feel bad for those students. Yeah, I don't kid. It's not my professional nature. Yeah, I forgot how weird and annoying you are. I won't let it happen again. 
Please enjoy this commercial break brought to you by our sponsors, the Phantom Force. This season on the all-new Phantom Force, there's a new team that's ready to eradicate some ghosts. The Force is going where no one else dares to go. They will visit some of the scariest places on Earth. Watch as the Force investigates haunted schools where students are forever trapped within the classroom. It's just a mannequin. The Force will push themselves past fear to discover the truths of the afterlife. Hello? Is anybody here? Ghost of season one. Phantom Force. The team will battle against demons from another dimension. Hello. Are there any demonic presence? Presence? We're not. Uh. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Right. This season will have more scares than ever before, as the Phantom Force faces never before seen threats. <laughs> Tune in Wednesday at 10 on FSU TV3, the only place to watch Phantom Force. Okay, that was awesome. Let's just say I know who I'm gonna call. Whoa, whoa, you can't just say that. I mean, for legal issues. I mean, you would know if you passed 447. Oh, never mind. <laughs> ha ha. Well, joke's on you because I haven't even taken the class yet. Okay, uh, anyways, here's Rainer with today's forecast. This is Frostburg TV3's meteorologist, Rainer Ramos, reporting to you with the weather. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is Halloween, and the weather is very spooky. There are volcanoes and hurricanes popping up in the middle of cities across the country, and even in some places, literally raining cats and dogs. It's 60 degrees today, with a 100% chance of rainfall and thunderstorms. Let's see how it looks outside with our field reporter. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's looking like a pretty rough one out here today. Uh, these, these vicious winds, you can just see the intensity Reaching speeds of over 100 miles per hour. Ah! Oh, yeah. ah! I think he's really enjoying himself out there. Nothing better than being in the elements. I'd love to tell you about future weather, but we've concluded that this is the end of the world. Well, that's it for human life, ladies and gentlemen. I guess global warming wasn't going to kill us after all. Back to you, Brain and Sabrina. Thank you, Rainer. Now that just goes to show you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. You can say that again, but do us all a favor and just don't. No, Brandon, you're too funny. It'd be a real shame if something uh, unexpected were to happen to you. Ha ha ha. Happy Halloween to you too, freak. There's nothing happy about today, you Halloweenie. Now let's get back to the news before we get fired, or even better, die. Ah, yes. Actually, that reminds me. We have a reporter live at Cambridge Hall to interview with a student about his current living situation. Take it away, Rainer. Hello, this is Frostburg TV3's Rainer Ramos coming at you with another report from the field. We are here live at Cambridge Hall, and we're about to interview a student Ben Cockroft. Shut up, man. Holy <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's not, it's just a little mold, that's how we say hello. Ew, it's fresh and it's moist. God, how did you get this way? Well, you know when they told everyone to, everyone to move out? Yes. I didn't. I stayed. Why did you stay? What? I was, I was already set up, and it, I, it was so close to calf, and I, you know, I just, I, I didn't want to move. Plus, I get great Wi-Fi. Oh, excuse me, bit of me. Oh my God. So, uh, why did you, you decided to stay just because of those benefits, but you don't care about the health repercussions and risks that there are to your body? I mean, uh, some could argue that you know, the mold is bad for you and it can kill you, but so can vaccines. So, you know, I don't see the issue here. Does the mold like mean something to you? It means everything to me. It, it accepts me, it understands me. 
kind of question is that? Why Why are you personifying personifying it? What? what it? Yeah. It? Her? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I completely apologize. You're on thin ice, reporter. I, I didn't. It's my, it's my, hey, what's up, Frank? It's my roommate. You want, you want to get a pizza? All right, I'll catch you later, man. I'll, I'll see you. He's a great guy. Well, today is Halloween, Ben, so I have a tip for you. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, what's, what's your tip? Well, instead of going out and buying an over-the-top, expensive, spooky costume, honestly, you're pr looking pretty spooky yourself, my friend. So, people will accept me? Yes. I can... I can see other people? Uh, yes, but just for tonight. Oh. Just one night. Yes, Halloween, October 31st. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. If it means I can have my mold end, my friends, I'll, I'll take one night. All right. Well, that's the mold, man. Uh, Frostburg TV3. This is Rainer Ramos reporting to you from Cambridge. Thank you for watching. Rainer Ramos signing off. Whoa. That was some spooky sh That was so brave and heartfelt. But I'm also kind of jealous he doesn't have to spend a bunch of money on a Halloween costume. What? That's what you're hung up on after seeing that? Good observation, Einstein. Anyways, we now cut to an exclusive interview with the adorable demon baby. Hello, my name is Jesse Scott, and I'm sure you've heard by now about the portal of evil that has opened up on the second floor of CCIT. Since its opening, many strange things have been happening on FSU's campus, but one thing has stood out to this reporter. There has been hysteria among students about the arrival of what they call the Satan baby. For some, this is the end of the world. For the skeptics, it's nothing more than a big joke in a broken window. Earlier today, we captured some footage of what appears to be a giant demon baby destroying the town of Frostburg. Survivors, crawling out of their broken homes, were claiming that the whole thing was a hoax, probably done with mirrors. We here at Frost News First wanted to ask the baby herself. You know, you're a lot smaller in person. Are you the mother? No, she's dead. Oh! Do you believe that this child is evil incarnate? No, she's just teething. Ma'am, the McDonald's has been pulverized. She's just a little fussy today. So you don't believe that she is from the underworld itself? Uh, no, she was born at the local hospital. Fascinating. Are you evil? Did you destroy Main Street with those adorable feet? You know, even though I've seen the evidence for myself in our B-roll footage, I can't believe someone as adorable as yourself can be so destructive. What do you mean I'm a weak little man? All right, this has been our exclusive interview with the spawn of Sweet Lucifer himself. It's believed that Satan, Lord of Darkness, sent her through the hell portal downstairs. FSU Maintenance has refused to comment. This has been Jesse Scott. See you next time. All right, can someone get her out of here? The walls are starting to bleed. That munchkin looks like a fun-filled little lollipop triple dipped in Psycho. There's a 666% chance she's the spawn of Satan. Wait, did you hear that? Hear what? Your stupid voice? Yeah, I heard ya. No, you dumb witch. It sounded like a baby. <laughs> The demon baby. Well, folks, it looks like we're out of time. Thanks for tuning in to this unusual news. And remember to eat, drink, and be scary. I'm Brandon Harrington. And I'm Sabrina Roberts. Life's a witch and then you fly. Uh, I think we're all gonna die. Um... Well, thanks for tuning in to Frost First News at 5, and hopefully we will see you all again here tomorrow morning.